The most perfect gluten-free vegan hamburger buns. They're unbelievable, seriously. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Britt and I'm the vegan food blogger behind the Banana Diaries where we make tons of gluten-free and vegan recipes that are super easy, approachable, and absolutely everyone will love them whether or not they're vegan. So today we're making the most perfect gluten-free vegan hamburger buns. They're nut-free, they're gluten-free, they're dairy-free, no xanthan gum, and they're so easy to make. These are so quick. They're quicker than making regular hamburger buns. So you're gonna absolutely love this recipe. They're perfect for vegan veggie burgers or your vegan sloppy joe. And I'm gonna link both of those recipes down below in the description box. Take them to your barbecue and absolutely everyone is gonna love them. They're never gonna guess that these are gluten-free. There's absolutely no graininess to them too. So that's just like awesome. Without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so to start, we're going to measure our dry ingredients and then we will make the dough. So we have tapioca flour, which I'm just going to measure straight into my bowl. I'm using a scale, a kitchen scale. That's the most accurate way to make gluten-free recipes. I will give US cup measurements in the blog post, but just know that if you want the perfect vegan gluten-free hamburger rolls, then you definitely want to use a kitchen scale. And I've linked my model that I'm using down below in the description box. So the nice thing about using a scale is that you can just dump everything in and you don't have to clean up a bunch of measuring cups afterwards. Perfect. Okay. Then we have our millet flour. I love using millet flour in gluten-free bread recipes. It just yields like the softest texture and like a slightly sweet texture too, which kind of makes sense for hamburger buns because they're kind of like brioche buns. Next up we have sorghum flour and you can swap in oat flour if you don't have sorghum flour and if you are not intolerant to oats. Perfect, okay. Next up we have our psyllium husk powder and this is what helps replace our xanthan gum. So in all of my gluten-free recipes, I love to just swap out xanthan gum because a lot of people actually are intolerant to gums um, such as xanthan gum. And I also find that xanthan gum is really expensive and psyllium husk tends to be a little bit more affordable. So that's why I really love it. Also, it just yields the most perfect texture for gluten-free bread that really simulates acting like a gluten. And psyllium is just basically a fiber. And I use the powdered form because it's obviously a little bit more um, refined and you don't really notice it in the bread. Whereas if you use the rough husk form, which you'd also have to then adjust the weight of the um, psyllium husk, it tends to show through the bread. So I feel like this is more incognito for our gluten-free bread. So I'm just gonna measure this straight into the bowl. Next up we have our arrowroot starch and this just helps to yield a softer texture to our gluten-free bread along with helping to bind all the flours together much like regular gluten would do. Perfect. Okay, so next we have our baking powder and this is actually not to help the rolls rise but it's actually to help yield a softer texture to the gluten-free bread. So when you think about like dinner rolls and hamburger buns, they tend to be really soft and plush and the baking powder is going to help us achieve that. And then we also have granulated sugar. I'm using organic granulated sugar by Florida Crystals because that is certified vegan. Um, you can also swap in maple syrup. I've made these with maple syrup. You're just gonna actually add that to our hot liquid rather than our dry ingredients because it's obviously liquid. Or you can use coconut sugar or organic brown sugar. So I'm just gonna dump that into the bowl. And then finally we have our yeast. So I'm using quick rise yeast. I highly recommend just using quick rise yeast. Actually this recipe is designed for quick rise yeast, not active dry yeast. So there's a difference between the two. Quick rise yeast is obviously quicker. And this is really important for our gluten-free recipes because gluten-free recipes tend to rise slower than our regular gluten recipes. So with active dry yeast, it would just take forever to rise these. And I want these to be super quick and easy for you, especially because hamburger buns, you want them for a barbecue and you're probably making a bunch of other dishes. So you want these to just be ready. You don't want to have to spend all day worrying about your gluten-free bread. I love buying the jar too because A, it's less waste and B, you just you get more and it's so easy to just measure it out in the bowl. Okay, so now we're just going to whisk this all together. And before we whisk, I'm just going to add our salt in because that is one ingredient I forgot and that is definitely necessary for absolutely delicious gluten-free hamburger buns. So I'm just gonna add in a teaspoon. Okay, and now we can whisk. So you really wanna make sure that um, all the dry ingredients are super thoroughly combined. So just give this like 
a minute whisk and then that should be good and if you're using a clear bowl too you can see on the sides whether or not that's been like super mixed together okay and now we're ready to finish off our dough okay so for our hamburger buns i'm going to be using a stand mixer i do recommend using a stand mixer over making these by hand but you can make them by hand i have all those instructions linked down below in the recipe card it just it's a lot faster if you use a stand mixer and it's also a little bit more um cohesive too. I do have gluten-free doughs that you can make by hand, such as my gluten-free vegan focaccia bread, which I'll link that down below for you to go check out. Okay, so we're gonna start by adding in one cup of water and one cup of dairy-free milk. I'm just using unsweetened almond milk here. You can use soy milk, oat milk, any of your favorite dairy-free milks. And the reason why I'm using both milk and water is because hamburger buns are a little bit, it's like a cross between an enriched dough and just a lean dough. So I wanted to have kind of mimic that enriched dough flavor by adding in the dairy-free milk, which is a little bit creamier. Next up we have dairy-free yogurt. And you can use soy milk yogurt, oat milk yogurt, cashew milk yogurt, um, almond milk yogurt, any of your favorites. And I do recommend sticking with the yogurt over an egg replacement like applesauce, just because applesauce doesn't have any protein in it. And typically, even though the dairy-free yogurts don't have a ton of protein, they still have some like soy milk and almond milk. So I highly recommend that because the protein actually helps to stabilize our air bubbles and make the dough a little bit sturdier. And then we're also gonna add in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And this again also helps to stabilize the air bubbles in our um, dough when it bakes. So everything's mixed in and we're just going to mix the dough. And it'll start off a little bit like a wet batter and then once the psyllium husk begins to activate, it's going to actually form like a regular gluten dough. It's awesome. All right, and it is perfect. It is just slightly tacky, which is perfect. So we're just going to dump this out onto the table and get to shaping our gluten-free buns. Okay, so we are going to just lightly flour our surface. So I'm gonna use a little bit of millet flour. Set that aside. And then we're just going to pour our dough right on here. It's so perfect. Wow, this guy really came out nice. And I'm just going to knead it slightly into a ball. All right, and now we're just gonna divide our dough. Wow, that looks really nice. Okay, so to shape our hamburger buns, it's quite similar to doing our gluten-free dinner rolls. So I'm just gonna press down onto the dough and we're gonna pinch in to the middle and then flip this guy over and we're gonna shape it like that. And then these are gonna rise a lot while um, they proof. So that's about the size that they should be. We're just going to place them onto our baking sheet and repeat. So we're just gonna press down onto the dough and I just like to pinch the corners so it's not super even. I just pinch them into the middle and then I flip it over and I'm just gonna like kind of shape it circularly to get that round shape and I'm kind of pinching in towards the bottom so that this can kind of, the seam can kind of just crease under and then I lightly pat it down to get kind of that burger bun shape. And then you're ready to just place it onto your baking sheet. So our burger buns are all rolled out and now we're just going to cover them and let them rise. So I like to place them in a warm area. Um, since I live in Florida, outside is great. We're just gonna let these double in size. It'll take about 40 minutes because we're using quick rise yeast and then we're gonna brush them with our vegan egg wash, sprinkle a little sesame seed on them and then pop them into the oven. So I'll be right back. Okay, so our hamburger buns have risen and they look pretty good, I think. Like. That's pretty impressive for gluten-free. So we have our vegan egg wash, which is just maple syrup and a little bit of soy milk or almond milk. 
And I'm gonna brush on top. And then we're gonna sprinkle on our sesame seeds as well. And while these have been proving, I just preheated the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and it's a convection oven. And then we're gonna get these baking. Now to top with some sesame seeds. And this is totally not necessary, but I feel like it gives it more of the classic hamburger bun feel. All right, these guys are ready to go into the oven. Okay, our hamburger buns are completely baked. They're perfect. Like, they're also really soft too. Like, look, you can just like press down. They bounce back. They're awesome. All right, I think that we should slice into one of them. Oh my goodness, they're so lovely. All right, let's slice into this guy. Nice and warm too. For burgers, they'd be great toasted. I actually have a vegan veggie lentil mushroom burger that is so amazing and it's grillable. Highly recommend that with this recipe. Oh, check it out. That's beautiful, wow. I think that we should actually make a sloppy joe out of these. I have some sloppy joe right now. Let's go build this burger. All right, so this is my jackfruit vegan sloppy joe mixture. It's so good. Let's just pour that right on there and then do our taste test. Jackfruit is such an interesting fruit. It can be sweet or savory. It's really good with these berlotti beans. I'm actually obsessed, so check that out. That's awesome. Wow. All right, and now for the taste test. <laughs> wow, guys, that actually tastes like a hamburger bun. You never know that this is gluten-free. And I eat gluten. I love gluten. This unbelievably gluten-free. Like, wow. There's no grittiness to it at all. It's like bready, it's light, it's fluffy. No graininess, it's just wonderful. And how easy was it to make? This is just the perfect hamburger bun. You guys have to try this recipe. Okay, so you guys just have to try this hamburger bun recipe. You're gonna freak out. You can serve this to even the gluten eaters and they're gonna love it. So be sure to grab the recipe down below in the description box as always, and make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified about more recipes that pop up like this. And check out all of my gluten-free bread recipes on the blog, and I also have some of the videos, so I'm gonna link the playlist here. They're just so good, you're just gonna love them. And yeah, I cannot wait to see you on the next recipe. Enjoy!